Next time you bring a bouquet home to a loved one, you might consider where those flowers came from. Agricultural. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Agriculture in Central <laughs> Illinois, it's not just corn and soybeans. There are people right here who dedicate their lives to growing the most beautiful crop nature has to offer. And storyteller Aaron Valley is joining us now with more. Hello, hello. Thank hello. you for having me. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I can say agriculture. Here. Yeah, so this one took me all the way to Millersville, where I visited Locust Creek Flower Farm and got a little tour from the woman behind it all. It's an idyllic spring morning on Stacy Shank's five-acre family farm. Other than the sunflowers, in addition to the roosters, sheep, and dogs, this mother of three has an estimated 50 species of flowers growing in her yard. I don't even mind the weeding and the planting and everything. And it's like you come outside, and just like today, I came outside and this dahlia bloomed, and they're like, "Look at that!" Her greenhouse is a sea of wild shapes and color. And surrounding her family home, giant petals smirk at the sky. I always loved growing up on a farm, and I wanted that experience for the boys. And, you know, I love flowers too, so it kind of helped dovetail everything in together. I don't know, it's a really fun experience, and I just enjoy what I do. Stacy, who grew up here in Christian County, <laughs> says her love of agriculture stems from her family. Can you smell the leaf? It would have made sense for her to follow in the footsteps of the corn and soybean farmers that came before her. But after landing her first job at a flower shop nearby, flowers would become the crop of her life. Bob's Floral in Pena, my first job, and I worked there through high school and college and, um, you know, even go back sometimes for holidays or different things they had going on. And so I always had a real love of flowers. Didn't know flower farming was an option or I probably would have started it earlier. <laughs> Stacy started her flower farm in 2016, naming it after the nearby creek that floods her driveway. It's a lot of hard work selling flowers to local florists and grocery stores. So we try to, you know, tailor what we grow also to what everybody wants and loves. Stacy also has to rotate different species throughout the seasons and at times grows specific flowers at the requests of her clients. But despite the tough nature of working in a greenhouse with the beating sun overhead, Stacy says a bucket of bright flowers makes it all worth it. Bouquet day is our reward. We get to see it all come together like, oh, that looks so nice. A table to arrange and the eye of a pro. So then I kind of build my tall around. The cluster of color, a gift to the receiver and the hands that grew it. And it's always great to support our local farmers. Stacy has a great summer bouquet subscription service where every two weeks you'll get a fresh set of her gorgeous flowers. We've got you connected to those details. Just head to CILiving.tv. Does she make um, deliveries to Champagne? <laughs> I know she should come out here. I hope yes, you were taking yes. notes, by the way, on how she was arranging those flowers so next time we have a competition. Uh -huh. Beautiful. I mean, just stuff you just can't get at your grocery store. I mean, they were beautiful. Whimsical, wild bouquets. They're yeah. so pretty and really cool to watch her put it together. She yes. knows what she's doing. Fun job.